What's up, art family? It's your boy Taylor Payton here of TheBeginnerDrawingCourse.com, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about drawing the breasts. So, in essence, when you're drawing any sort of more fatty tissue, as the breasts are predominantly composed of, you really want to think of the gravitic effects on that kind of tissue. So they essentially are going to have a lot more of a squash and stretch factor than you would typically find with more rigid tissue or harder kinds of tissue. Um, so for example, if you're thinking of, say, a really hard six pack, it's not going to have a lot of the same kind of squash and stretch deformation that you would see on somebody who's got a lot of fat on their uh, torso. And since, as mentioned earlier, the breasts are mostly composed of uh, fatty tissue and all that other magical anatomy, then we really just want to keep in mind the really rounded forms that are also going to be affected in this very interesting way based on the position of the arms or based on the overall angle of the torso. Now there's also other things to consider such as the size of the breasts. Some breasts are a little firmer than others and things of that nature. However, once you get the basic sort of water balloon shape down, you'll really find it way easier to configure how they're going to behave. It really does take a lot of observation, which I know is not a big deal for a lot of you out there. And you just have to go in and study these things a little bit. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the little skit at the beginning. The video was originally going to be just about that skit. However, it made for a pretty short video and I realized that I probably wouldn't get away with putting up the uncensored version if I didn't make this a how-to tutorial. And so that's kind of what we're doing right now. You're just seeing me go through drawing these various um, breasts in the pretty consistent sort of way I would study them, which is just find a whole bunch of reference. Um, you know, on Google, if you turn off safe search, you better beware, but you can do that and just say nude female artistic figure or something when you type it in, and you'll get a pretty good array of, you know, tasteful kind of photos, you know, not the kind of nasty stuff that you really don't want to see. Um, or maybe you do, I'm not here to judge. But either way, it's really just about, uh, you know, getting that first initial kind of rounded teardrop or water balloon shape and thinking about how it would lay down with gravity. Now we have this rigid sort of bony uh, skeletal structure that is the rib cage, which is going to be supporting the breasts, and that's why you see me drawing the rib cage first because it's the largest mass that is sort of composing the torso, and then you have the softer tissues that lay on top of it. Whether you are, you know, a male who has a little more uh, muscle tissue, uh, there is some fat in you know, men's chest as well that can accumulate, or you are a female, then you're going to be figuring out how the chest tissue, whether it's composed of a mix of muscle or fat, is going to lay on the rib cage. So I'm drawing it from the side here, and you can see that's sort of a more exaggerated or almost fake looking breast, which is why I erased it. And then I keep on trying to configure where the nipples are going to point and drawing the cross contour line just to showcase the um, the form, the dimension, because we're using just lines here. We're not using any shading like I did with the previous demo. Um, by the way, if you haven't, please check out Proko. I'm sure if you've heard of my channel, you've definitely heard of Proko's channel. I've learned a ton from his channel over the years, and I just want to say a quick shout out, a quick thank you to Proko for all the awesome content. Um, I hope that you have even more success moving forward, and you're a big inspiration to me personally, and I know a lot of other artists. Uh, but either way, this is just sort of me wrapping it up here with a quick couple of studies, practicing you know, various components of the torso, but namely uh, the bust. And lastly, we're going to be drawing them in a more uh, bent over format, as I mentioned earlier, since they are composed of a lot of fatty tissue, but they are still fixed to the um, chest portion and to all of the musculature around the um, shoulder girdle, for example, and the um, you know, the serratus abdominis, then you can see that as the figure, uh, female figure bends over, you're going to be having a lot more of that droop going on, that water balloon effect, because there's basically just a whole bunch of points of connection that are going to keep them obviously fixed to the chest, but then you have all of the mass that is pulling and creating that concave effect 
around the actual chest itself. And then lastly, we just have the laying down pose, which, you know, is famous in a lot of ways. And it's just showing that, yeah, they'll kind of push up and flatten out as you, um, as you kind of push them against the surface to resist against the, you know, gravity forces. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a really fun video to make. If you like, you can check out all my tutorials on the beginnerdrawingcourse.com. And I guess that's about it for this one. Uh, I did have a really fun time drawing and configuring and learning more about the breasts and explaining what I know uh, from my studies to you. I hope you have fun drawing them and adding them to your characters and figures, and I will see you next time. Take care and happy drawing.